Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a kind of cool different video. This is a video about my eyelashes as you guys can probably see in the title. Recently I got eyelash extensions and I don't know, I just wanted to come on here and kind of share my experience because this is my first time ever getting them. In fact, I have never really played with eyelashes before. I don't know, I've always watched YouTube videos and have never really gotten interested in eyelashes. And recently I started actually playing around with strip lashes. Um, if you have been on my channel for a while, you would know that I went to IMAX in September and I just kind of started to dabble into strip lashes and so I decided I would get some. So I showed a few of those in my haul. Recently the opportunity came up for me to get them done and not pay anything. So I was like, hey, why not? Why don't I try them out? Um, I had worn eyelashes or strip lashes two times prior and I really did like the effect that it gave my look it just adds a little bit of extra volume so I decided I'm gonna try out the extensions so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how they look I have had them on for let's see I think like a week and two days I got them done last Tuesday and today is Thursday so yeah a week and two days so I'm just gonna zoom in and just kind of show you guys exactly how they look on my eyes guys know these are synthetic hairs I'm not sure what they're made of but they're not human hair or anything the size that I used were I think they were 12 and 10 mixed together because my friend actually got them done before I did and I wanted a similar effect so we decided to use just a little bit shorter so I went with size 12 and 10 so contrary to what a lot of people probably think and what I actually thought before getting it done, the actual synthetic fibers are attached to your actual lashes. So if you were to look um, really closely like at the lash line here, you're not going to see it attached to my skin. They're attached to the actual eyelashes. So that was interesting to me. I actually thought that they were going to be applied to my skin, but that was not the case. The process. The process took six hours to get these bad boys on. I had to lay on like a kind of like a massage table. And I just laid back. She put like a collagen pack underneath my eyes and then taped my um, bottom lashes down. And then she manually applied the um, faux hairs to my actual hair. Now, I don't know if that is a normal thing. I don't think it is because I do have another friend separate from the one that I mentioned earlier and she actually had them done as well and the girl that she had um, do hers was also training like the one that did mine and she took two hours. Now my friend wasn't into lashes before but she has continued to do them and now she says that the girl who does hers um, takes even less time um, than two hours to do, probably like 45 minutes to an hour. So I think that the girl that did mine was probably just very specific and she did admit that she does like to, you know, she's a little bit of a perfectionist. So she, I think that's why it took that long, but she did an absolutely amazing job. So I can't really complain where that's concerned, but the time wise, it was a little bit too much. It's almost like a work shift. I think I started at like 3 o'clock that day and then I didn't finish till like 9.20 p.m. So yeah, it was quite some time. As far as care uh, for the lashes, after she applied them, she told me that I wasn't able to like actually fully wash my face as I normally would for 24 hours. So that evening, um, or that day rather, I made sure that I like showered before so it wasn't like I didn't wash my face thoroughly at all for a really long time. The evening when I came in, I just kind of had to like sponge bath my face if that makes any sense. So basically I just kind of like um, avoided the area here. Even though it's dry, we 
still needed it to kind of like adhere a little bit more and made sure it actually stayed. So obviously if the water came into contact with the glue and the lashes, then it wouldn't stay. As far as maintenance, the only thing you really had to do was just kind of avoid um, direct water contact or like soaking them. So when I rinsed my face, I made sure not to like drenched it and um, when I take off my makeup I'm very very careful um, you know about the um, eye area where the glue was applied I also was given a little spoolie you know we all know what a spoolie is but I was given a spoolie and you're basically to just use it to comb your lashes out um, in the morning and the night I haven't really been doing that but um, you know I do comb them here and there when I notice that they're kind of going off into a you know a weird direction the other main thing is that when you are um, wearing makeup and you take it off you do need to make sure that you remove it really well and also you do have to make sure that you use um, oil free um, makeup remover because obviously then if you're going to use a makeup remover that has oil in it then of course it's going to um, disrupt the glue and the lashes and then they will come off I do think they cost around 50 to 60 dollars and that's if you're in Canada by the way I got mine done free because she was practicing and I think a refill is probably about half of that so I would say if it's something that you're really into and you like having the kind of glam effect every day then I would get them done for me personally my overall experience was okay I don't think I would get them done again because I mean they do look nice on an everyday basis I have to admit but the one thing is like having that glam look every day is not really for me and I think that because my lashes are naturally kind of full but not really um, long I don't mind just throwing a mascara on and then going on my way that's good enough for me for every day as far as like being able to take off my makeup and stuff like that I did have a little bit of a trouble because um, you know when you normally wash your face you just kind of like naturally run your hands over your face and you don't um, you know think about like how you're going to like affect your lashes or if they move this way or that way but with having them on because they are you know they're significantly longer than what my natural lashes are I have to make sure that I just kind of like go around and I found it a little bit tedious when um, trying to remove my makeup I felt like you know if I just rub my lashes like this it would just come off or disrupt the glue and then the last thing I can also say is that as you start to wear them sometimes uh, the false lashes start to like come off I guess as the glue starts to get old parts of it will attach or detach rather and then other parts are not so it's still stuck on your eye but it's not completely removed so that the hair will just kind of like stick out in like weird directions so that's what I'm kind of really working with right now um, so I don't really like that part of it on a whole I would say they were done really nicely um, I do like the look of them but I just feel like they're not for me so it was a good experience in getting to try them and knowing you know what I like and what I don't like but going forward I probably wouldn't get them done again so that's pretty much all for the video today I just wanted to come in really quickly and share with you guys my experience of having my false eyelashes attached if you guys have any questions or concerns shoot them down in the um, comment box down below and I'll be sure to answer them thank you so much for watching and until my next video we'll see you again bye bye look guys you can see it's a very very